hello guys and welcome to this channel yes this video is really telling you some really awesome 20 dollar games it's not a clickbait relax and the good news is the price might even drop at uh, steam sales and get you a game that's worth 20 dollar to maybe like uh, 5 or 10 dollars before i start out my list please do check out my merch support me if you can it will really mean a lot to me anyways at number 10 we have companies of heroes it is 1941 and the beginning of what will become the most brutal conflict of World War II as Germany launches a full-scale invasion which will result in over 14 million military casualties. You will take command of the Soviet Red Army to go in a brutal frontline warfare. The reason is because you have to free Mother Russia from the invasion of a Nazi. In this game, your strategic skills matter and it matters a lot, serious. You will be able to hold the power to tip the very balance of his conflicts. Engage in some tactical combat that will define you as a military leader and challenge you to wield the might of the Soviet Empire as you smash your way to Berlin. Enemy troops! We have more conscripts at our disposal. Combat engineers, we are gone. Number 9. Europe Truck Simulator 2 Players choose their HQ location in any of the map's city. At first, the players can only take what is called the quick jobs. These jobs involve making hired driver deliveries while employed by a delivery company. With the provided truck and all expenses covered, such things like fuels, road trolls, and even ferry crossing. As the player throughout the game start earning money or taking bank loans, they can eventually afford to buy themselves a truck, require a home garage, and start accepting better paying jobs by using their own trucks instead of being a driver for hire with gears being supplied. Money earned in the game can be spent on upgrades or purchasing new trucks, hiring NPC drivers to take on deliveries. It's similar to you starting your delivery business. If you buy a garage and if you expand the garage, you can fit more trucks and drivers. So yeah, basically like any other game out there. The skills of the driver hired by the player also grows with experience. And the players can create a huge fleet of the truck and drivers, you know, expanding the business across Europe. Number 8. The Forest In the forest, players control Eric and must survive the forested peninsula in search of his son, Timmy. After a devastating plane crash, players must survive by creating shelters, weapons, and other survival tools, inhabiting the peninsula. Along with the various woodland creatures, they are also a tribe, not a normal tribe. They are cannibalistic mutants who dwell in villages on the surface and in deep caves beneath the peninsula. While they are not necessarily always hostile to the players, their usual behavior is aggressive especially during the night so try out this game and try to survive the night you know number seven borderlands 2 borderlands 2 is an action role-playing game played from a first person perspective the gameplay revolves around completion of missions and the collection of randomly generated loots such as weapons shields skins and other items with various varieties statistics and elemental effects four playable characters cases are available in this base game each with their own unique abilities and skill trees i'll take my time to explain all the abilities of the four characters firstly it's exton the commando can summon a turret to provide a offensive support and the second one is maya the siren can pace lock enemies by trapping them in a shield of energy for a few seconds. The third one is Zero, the assassin, can temporarily become invisible. And that's not the best part. Zero can spawn a hologram decoy to distract enemies. An attack delivered in this stage provides bonus damage. And lastly, Salvador, the gun seeker, can use his ability to temporarily dual wield weapons. Number 6. Call of Duty World at War World at War features more mature theme than the previous Call of Duty installments. And it's open-ended, giving players multiple ways to complete objectives. 
Players fight alongside AI controlled teammates. They help during the game's mission by providing cover fire, shooting down enemies, and dancing on the street. I'm just kidding. And clearing room for inter. When playing the Wii version of the game, instead of using a normal controller, such as the ones you used in the uh, Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, an optional gun like expansion controller known as the Wii Zipper can be used. The Zipper or Wii Remote in Hong Kong can be used to aim at the targets, you know, to fire at them and simulate marksmanship. <laughs> Number 5. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th is a semi open world game, third person survival horror game set through the 1980s. In a variety of locations, in and around the fictional camp Crystal Lake, the game is a multiplayer video game with up to 8 people able to play in one session. One player is randomly selected to control Jason, whose objective is to kill as many as possible before time runs out. Playing as Jason grants special restriction abilities, including being able to sense nearby. That's not all. And to teleport anywhere on the map. Okay, I can already see why this is a very fun multiplayer game. Number 4. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Sieg. I know it's a little bit over the budget, but hear me out. It's worth getting. Tom Clancy is the first person shooter game in which players utilize many different operators from the Rainbow team. Different operators have different nationalities, weapons, and gadgets. The game features an astromatic structure whereby the teams are not always balanced in their choices of abilities. The basic counter terrorist unit available for play are the American Hostage Rescue Team, referring to in the game as the FBI Squad, the British SAS the German GSG-9, the Russian Spartan, and the French GIGN, each of which have four players in unit, split between attackers and defenders. Other units were later added through downloadable content. Number 3. Rocket League Rocket League's gameplay is largely the same as the one of its predecessor, supersonic rocket-powered battle cars. Players control a rocket-powered car, can use it to hit a ball that is much larger than the car, well towards the other team goal area to score a goal in a way that resembles a soccer game or a football game if you are offended. Players' car have the ability to jump to hit the ball while in mid-air. Players can also pick up a speed boost by passing their car over marked space on the field, enabling them to quickly cross the field, using their added momentum to hit the ball or ram into another player's car to destroy it. In that later case, that destroyed car responds moments later. Players can also perform quick dodges, causing their car to do a short jump and spin in a given direction which can be used to nuke the ball or gain positioning advantage over the other team. Number 2. For Honor For Honor is an action fighting game set during the medieval fantasy setting. Players can play as a character from three different factions, namely the Iron Legion, the Knights, the Warborn, Viking, and the Down Empire. A fourth faction, the Wu Lin, was added in the Marching Fire expansion in the October 2018. Each hero also have quarters in their own languages that will trigger when cutting actions are performed. The Knights uh, speak Latin, the Vikings speak Icelandic, the Samurai speak Japanese, and the Wu Lin speak Mandarin. Each faction have four classes at launch, with two more being added at the beginning of every season of the Faction War. Round three. And finally, number one, Saints Row 4. Similar to previous Saints Row series games, Saints Row 4 is an open world action game with third person shooting elements where the players are free to explore the environment and, at their leisure, play story or side missions. As the leader of the Saints, 
a street gang that has become the world's most powerful and popular organization. The player is elected president of the United States. Yes, guys, you are the president. This is no joke. Receiving superpowers. Yes, that's also true. And fans of an alien invention. Yep, that too. Most often, the players will engage in shooting and racing activities. Though the other activities vary from fighting crowds of zombies, shootouts in tanks, side-scrolling brawlers, fighting against super-sized, and yes, also drinking energy drinks. I'm serious. And the best part of it all, using a dubstep gun to interrupt 1950s American. How cool is that? Come on, man. So basically, this is like a GTA with mod, which is already installed in a game by the developer themselves. Anyways, we have come to the end of this video. If you are new, why not consider hitting the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the like button. It will honestly really mean a lot to me and I will see you guys next time on my next video. Bye. Peace out. Do a little bit of shopping. So why not take a monster truck to get there?